This video covers the second step in setting up Stack Graphics 18. It's the registration step. Three steps are required to set up Stack Graphics 18. The first step is downloading the installation program from www.stackgraphics.com and installing it on your computer. The second step is registering your email address at register.stackgraphics.com. The third step is activating your copy of the program. This video covers step two. You need to go through the registration step covered in this video if you'll be activating a trial copy of Stack Graphics 18. You also need to register if you're setting up a single user standalone license or if you're an administrator of a multi-user network license. Registration is not required if you'll be using an academic site license at your college or university. It's also not required if you're accessing a shared multi-user network license that your administrator has already set up. Also, users of enterprise-wide licenses can skip the registration step. To start the registration process, open up a web browser and go to register.stackgraphics.com. This opens up a web page containing the version 18 registration program. Go to the bottom of the page where it says First Time Users and click on the link labeled register here. This will take you to a web page on which you can create a new account. You begin by typing in your email address and making up a password with eight or more characters that will be associated with this account. If you're a student, there's a checkbox that you should check to indicate that fact. Then fill in the rest of the information on the form and press Create Account. When you press the Create Account button, your account will be created. However, it won't be active until you follow the instructions sent to your email address. After a short time, you should receive an email similar to that shown here. To finish the registration process, click on the link at the bottom of the email. The link will open up one final web page showing you that your account has been activated and that you have been logged into the registration program. Press the Continue button. If your purpose coming here is to set up a 30-day trial, you're done. You can now move on to step three. If you've purchased the license and received a serial number, there's one more thing to do. That begins by pushing the button labeled Register Serial Number. Registering a serial number attaches the serial number you received when you purchased the license to your email address. There's a small form to fill out where you need to type in that serial number and also the registration code you were given when you received that serial number. This completes the registration step. It's now time to move on to the next video which shows you how to activate the software on your computer.